Hello, this is a screencast about AGX. AGX is a code generation framework uh, which can turn UML models into code on the file system and, yeah, well, use usable code. Um, and I want to show you the dexterity example. So what, we sc what we're going to do is we'll create a PyDev project, add an AGX model. Uh, we have a, a, a pre-prepared one for with the uh, dexterity example. Then we'll use AGX and generate code. Uh, this code uh, comprises a build-out. So we'll run build-out to get uh, a plone up and running. We'll start that plone and use that generated content type. Okay, so uh, we'll go to Eclipse and create a new project. That's going to be a PyDev project. And yes, we'll go with uh, 2.7 and I'll call it Hello Dexterity. No projects to reference. Do we want to open up the PyDev perspective? No, we don't need it now. And there's something about um, AGX. We need to stay in the Java perspective for, for now. Okay, so what we add is, if we wanted to do it all from scratch, we would choose Papyrus and then use the UML uh, stuff. But now we'll just choose the AGX model. it hello dexterity model and choose a template and well you can try the other templates I will go with the dexterity example because it does have a full-fledged model with the dexterity content type down here we can see the console uh, where um, the where AGX ran and uh, some profiles were exported uh, we got the PyEgg, the so component architecture, the plone, the dexterity, and the build-out um, profiles. And they are all used in this model. Qu quickly show it to you. Um, well, there's a, a package with stereotypes, Python egg, uh, generic setup profile, and plone self-contained. That's for the build-out. And in this um, package, we have another package called content. And this is where the content type lives. Here we have stereotypes uh, from, the UML, uh, from, the, from the dexterity profile. So what we have here, we have companies, a company content type. And in this, we can have persons. Uh, or we can have a department. And a department can have more departments. Uh, Subdepartments, so to speak, and in those departments we can have uh, we can have persons. Mm, yeah. So here we have a dynamic view, and then we have addresses, which can be part of, uh, well, can belong to companies or people. Okay, fine. So all we have to do now is look at our project. What is there? Uh, we have the UML profiles imported here, and this is the model and you, you we use the UML uh, part of the model to uh, to well we already have imported the profiles we could generate now but I want to have a quick look at the properties because of course we need uh, to have the generator set up somewhere we have it here so that's our good target is our project okay fine so now let's well, shall we start it now? Uh, let me just... <coughs> I'll go into this project we just created. And let's look at what's there. Yes, that's exactly what we had in Eclipse. So that's good. Um, and I'll just say HX generate. Mm. Well, I wish I could maximize the console now. AGX is starting to work. My computer is too slow. Um, but I guess it's going to work. I'll switch over to the to the console. Until now, all we have is what we had before. 
It's taking some time. Ah, so now it worked. Uh, this is from the import of profiles, which we had before. And then we uh, invoked the generator to actually generate code. And let's look at the console, the file system. Oh yes, we now we have more stuff. We have a bootstrap uh, file to start the, to bootstrap the build out. We have a build out configuration file to, well, have some configuration for our build out. So, so what we do now is uh, create a virtual environment. That is, uh, we we create a Python uh, which is separated from the system Python. So installing packages won't change our system Python. We activate this. It's actually just for the first step, and that is Python bootstrap py. So this will uh, get distribute and now we need and pip to our virtual environment. So you can you can also use virtual env in case you have uh, like on on the Mac where you have like a very old version of distribute but uh, you should have a newer one, so just uh, get virtual env and uh, then you're free to to install a newer one in this virtual env, uh, a, a more recent distribute um, without needing any uh, admin rights. Okay, so now we have uh, a bin build out script was generated for us and we start the build out. This will take very long, so I'll pause the video and come back to you later. What Buildout does is gather loads and loads of packages required for Plone to run. Oh, Buildout is still running. Yes, still running. Okay, so Buildout has finished. Uh, we have a script bin instance to start Plone. And we also have um, a Python with the with the ZOAP packages available. But what we'll do now is we want to start Plone. So I'll say bin instance foreground. Foreground is so we actually see um, messages from Plone uh, while it's starting. Okay, so here we see uh, which port it will be running on. And some things we might need some fine tuning for, I don't know, blob directory. Oh, it's, not, it's not important for what we are doing. And now I'm waiting for the soap ready to handle requests. Okay. Now we can fire up a browser. By the way, this is our documentation. Um, but now we'll go to eighty eighty and create a new plone site. Oh, you give it a name and a title and so on. And well, I'll just use the <coughs> the AGX dexterity example install profile. I could do this later, but I'll just do it now so we have it all up and running. Yep, that worked. And well, what we expect is that now, uh, apart from news and dates and pages, we can also create our uh, newly created content types and see there's company, there's person and there's department. Uh, so well let's let's add a company. The full company, right? Uh, and well you we could add some description but I'll, I'll just not do this now. Company name, text number, whatever. And if you remember from the, I will we'll publish this right away. 
if you remember from the model uh, we inside the company we could have departments or persons so we'll go with the department let's add an IT department right publish it and well, uh, of course there's got to be a person in that department so we'll add some John Doe okay first name John last name Doe age is 26 And yes, that also worked. We'll publish him. It's official. Okay, fine. So uh, we'll go to the sitemap just to show you. Yes, that worked. We have a full company. We have an IT department, and there's John Doe. And of course, we can go and change details if we want to do that. Um, well, maybe he's he's a little older. works fine so uh, I think we'll have a new version of the documentation online soon um, again what we did was create a project add an AJAX model I, this time I chose the uh, the template ready-made template with the dexterity example we generated code we ran build out started clone and used that content type uh, more soon on AGX.me